Do you remember when former President Donald Trump and the slumlord's son, Jared Kushner, declared that they have, they did it. They, they, they got middle, they got peace in the Middle East, everybody. It's over. The decades of violence between the state of Israel and, and the Palestinian people, over, folks. They, 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 did a, they did a peace, right? We ended the apartheids and the terrorisms. Uh, and, you know, uh, you know they're, they're giving themselves a great big pat on the back. Oh, wait. Turns out that did not happen. Uh, but nonetheless, during the time, former President Donald Trump did give himself a pat in the back uh, and even thought that his efforts, of which he did basically nothing, uh, would act, end up giving him a Nobel Peace Prize, which actually, by the way, doesn't mean anything. But he wants one anyway. And boy, I wonder, I wonder if you can guess why. <laughs> he said this back in 2019. I'm going to get a Nobel Peace Prize for a lot of things if they gave it out fairly, which they don't. Nobel Peace, can you imagine? Trump then said in 2020. Well, hold on there. Okay, hold hold your applause for Donald Trump, okay? It, it This is not a... Please clap. Okay, it's not one of those moments, okay? Uh, turns out mm, that didn't actually happen, uh, and you still have massive problems in the Middle East. You would see that right now, uh, the state of Israel has launched a ground invasion into Gaza, as well as massive airstrikes that have destroyed a building that housed two major press agencies uh, that ended up killing uh, children as well. Uh, and so you had the Associated Press, uh, who had their building bombed, and Al Jazeera. Uh, but I know the, the, the Israel Defense Forces are saying, oh, no, but you don't understand. Um, you also had a, a Hamas. Uh, yeah, Hamas was there. Uh, they had a headquarters there. Wait, see, so okay, you think that the Associated Press and Al Jazeera shared a building with the headquarters of, with a headquarters of Hamas? That doesn't make any sense. But they blew the, they blew the crap out of the building. So uh, now, you know, it's gone. Uh, that said, this is in retaliation to small rocket attacks from Hamas, which was in response to Israel illegally removing Palestinians uh, from a small uh, community, uh, Sheikh Jarrah, to make way for Israeli settlers. Uh, I, look, I don't know how you, you would feel if you were getting evicted, uh, whether because of your religion or, or whatever. It, it, somebody just shows up to your house and says, you're gone, get out, we're going to put these settlers in your place. I don't know how you'd feel, but I'd be pretty pissed. Okay, I wouldn't be happy. So uh, during that entire thing, there were demonstrations that flared up even further after Israeli police stormed uh, the Al-Aqsa Mosque, where there were demonstrations. More than 330 Palestinians had been uh, injured, while 21 police officers were injured on the other side. So um, as far as Middle East peace, it's, it's not... It's not looking, look, not looking too peaceful over there, okay? And from my standpoint, it's the fault of the Israeli government for the escalation. So now, then wh why why are they talking about why are they talking about peace? Then oh, we did it. Uh, well, it turns out that Slumlord Kushner had launched something called the Abraham Accords Institute for Peace to quote promote his major accomplishment when he advised his father-in-law, former U.S. President Donald Trump, quote, the normalization agreements between Israel and a number of Sunni Arab countries, said the Times of Israel earlier this month. So this was just, this was an agreement between Israel and a bunch of other but other countries. But what about Israel? Or, or I'm sorry, uh, what about the Israelis and the Palestinians? It, 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 were the Palestinians involved in this at all? No. No, they're... It wasn't, actually. Uh, now, Axios said, quote, The Abraham Accords, signed in September of 2020, were arguably Trump's biggest foreign policy achievement and the biggest breakthrough for relations between Israel and the Arab world for 25 years. Not, not to minimize it, right? Uh, but, hey, look, uh, you, you got to have peace with your neighbors. You got to get along with everybody, right? Uh, now, the big problem is not with the neighbors, but with... Israel doing illegal settlements in Palestine, taking Palestinian territory 
and then doing what you know amounts to apartheid and in some you know with, with charges of ethnic cleansing by removing people from quote unquote key areas of the city and so yeah uh now none of that again that agreement that donald trump and, and jared kushner pushed didn't deal at all with the issues facing Palestinians and why they are rightly upset. They don't have clean drinking water. They've got spotty electricity, massive unemployment, and are living in an open-air prison. So in those situations, you have groups like Hamas that will promise to solve the problems. Of course, they don't, and they just fire rockets at people. Well, that's unbelievably dumb. But, you know, again, unbelievably dumb. Uh, because what you have then as a result of that is asymmetrical warfare or an excuse to use asymmetrical warfare uh, by uh, Israel. And of course, you end up having the Israeli army, the Air Force, the United States, all of their backed allies, basically grounding the uh, or grinding the Palestinian people further into the dust. So, so, so this is not good. And by the way, the United States and Israel also deny peaceful options for the Palestinian people to be able to take their case to the UN. And so you have the United States under both Biden and, uh, and, and then Trump that allowed Israel to continue doing illegal settlements, inflaming tensions, and then, of course, just recently blocked two resolutions, this is under Biden, uh, that would have actually condemned Israel's military response and a call for a ceasefire. So, yeah, uh, not only did not, Trump not solve the problem, but also Biden not solving the problem either. Biden is pretty much completely silent on this issue. And so that's what we have. And unfortunately, when it comes to, no matter which party seems to be in power, you have, unfortunately, the American imperialisms going on uh, and supporting the apartheid regime uh, of the right-wing government of Israel. It's really sad. All right. So, uh, now, that said, social media decided to go after both Kushner and Trump for declaring victory prematurely. As we can see, there is no victory here. Uh, one person says, reminded that Jared Kushner and Ivanka made $640 million during their time in the White House. It was never about peace in the Middle East. In fact, the dealings that Kushner had with the Middle East involved Qatar and being able to try to sell uh, his 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 building uh, that wasn't making any money, or I'm sorry, not sell, but to get loans to finance the building, a building in New York, which was losing tons of money. So, not only that, uh, another one here: uh, Ivanka Trump gave 41 trademarks in China, including coffins plus voting machines. Jared Kushner used the White House to find uh, debt loaners for himself, and both made 640 million dollars while working in Daddy Trump's administration. It's never about peace in the Middle East. So again, there's a pattern here. Uh, Kushner brought peace to the Middle East, just like Donald Trump made America great again. Uh, another person adds, I hope by now conservatives realize the peace plan created by Kushner was faux. It's not a peace plan if it only involved countries that Israel had already had good relations with and excluded the Palestinians. And, and that's another thing as well. And then finally, uh, another person says, peace, the only thing Jared Kushner ever brokered in the Middle East was the torture and murder of, Jan of Jamal Khashoggi, or Khashoggi. Never forget. Now, look, it's actually kind of interesting uh, and, and nice to see that there's more social media accounts that are at least backing the, the Israeli, uh, I'm sorry, not the Israeli, but the uh, Palestinian uh, 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 accounts against the Israelis. Uh, and, and by the way, that doesn't mean backing Hamas. And it's also not anti-Semitic to be against the actions of the right-wing Israeli government who is breaking international laws and instituting an apartheid regime. Any real peace agreement has to involve the Palestinian people. It, obviously, they're the focus. Their interests, though, unfortunately, are almost never represented when it comes to peace talks. They're the ones being impacted the most this is not, by the way, it's not, it's not an even thing. Okay, this is this is not an equal playing field. You have the UN, uh, or I'm sorry, the US 
constantly blocking UN resolutions that might actually try in, to ensure the peace on both sides so that no people have to die, which should be the point. What I want to see is both groups be able to be secure, safe, and to be able to coexist in peace. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf, or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.